Welcome to MJ Hobby Corner, everyone. And this is another MJ Hobby Corner game. And today we are playing Deep Wars. Woo! And here we have Steve. Yay! Hey, Steve. And my opponent, Yay! the merciless <laughs> Julie. How are you feeling? And today we are playing a salvage scenario. We are uh, in a shallow underwater shelf. And that's where all this is taking place. Mm -hmm. Uh, it is the Nerids, which is basically Julie's mermaid girls over there, mm -hmm. versus my fortune seekers, the humanes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so our goal today is to get into this ruin here, uh, bust open that door. But first, we have to take care of Grumpy Eel, because Grumpy Eel is hanging out there, yep. and he will attack anything. Uh, once we open the doors... We are free to go in and get the treasures. This mm -hmm. this roof comes off and all the treasures mm -hmm. in there, mm. we are free to get them. So uh, basically, this game is a lot about treasure hunting and collecting artifacts mm -hmm. and all that good stuff. One victory point for every 25 points of your opponent's models that you kill. Oh, you, okay. also get, right. you also get three points uh, for the main artifact. Mm -hmm. And that's inside here. One victory point for each artifact token plus whatever that uh, artifact is worth oh, cool. in victory points. So you get a lot of victory points for mm -hmm. getting in there. Uh, so the person with the most victory points at the end, of course, wins. Mm -hmm. Now I like to say that I believe Julie will win. Oh, no, 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 no. Just a, you know, no, well, I mean, she is a mermaid and kind of adapted to this world. The odds, the odds at game world. time are 7 to 2, Julie. <laughs> 600 to 1, Mark. Oh, no. And just a little bit about the board. We have the ruins here. A uh, nice, cool yeah, mermaid statue. That's awesome. We have a gribbly, innocent isopod over here. <laughs> Although he is about the size of a human, so I don't know yeah, how innocent. He looks so innocent. Yeah. <laughs> uh, angry what? eel. We have a crustacean hanging out right down there. Yeah. A giant mantis shrimp waiting to gobble somebody up. <laughs> we have two sharks. Now, in this scenario, we have a hundred points of fish, mm -hmm. fish schools. And they have attracted two sharks, 100 mm -hmm. points of predator. Um, and there's a big octopus-like yeah. thing, mm -hmm. an ammonite over there. So basically, she has a deep caller, right, Julie? Let's yeah. introduce your army. And that's why the wild creatures are important, because she has a deep caller. Mm -hmm. I have my deep caller. Right there. And then mm -hmm. I've got my little mer my mermaids. These are treasure mm -hmm. hunters. And this is my guardian. Okay, the guardian of the reef. And mm -hmm. she's kind of like the leader. And uh, deep callers have a special ability that they can activate the wild creatures and have them attack their opponents. Mm -hmm. So deep callers are a cool thing to have. All right. And that's it. We have a cloud of plankton here. We have a ruined ship, some bubbles, some bubbles, bubbles, some bubbles, 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 bubbles. and bubbles. just a lot of kelp forests and coral uh, forests over here. All right. So let's get this game going. Turn one. I am the attacker, Julie's the defender, so mm -hmm. I get to go first. And, all right, let's do the handshake opponent. All right, let's see who wins. All wild creatures on the board do not get activation rolls. They get one action. And uh, any player that rolls two failures mm -hmm. can move a sea creature instead uh, before passing it over to mm -hmm. the other player. So uh, that's how that works. Okay, so uh, turn one is over, and uh, this is the turn summary. So this is the location of my divers. Um, I had uh, good successes with actions. Uh, well, one act, one success apiece. So I went down a depth level. I'm at depth level one with these guys, and one of them, this one had two uh, successful actions, and I was going to fire at that shark, but then I realized that um, the range is only a short uh, stick, so there was no way I could fire at the shark. Um, so he just moved at depth level one, all trying to move closer here. Now, Julie's mermaids had incredible success. Of course they did. 
and uh, rolling two actions apiece, they were able to get right into the ruin. Remember, we're saying this is a doorway here, even though it's it's closed. Um, we're saying this is a doorway, and they use their long swimming action uh, because they move a, a long stick. Two long sticks, and they were able to uh, sneak past angry uh, Grumpy Eel there. So Grumpy Eel uh, can only attack during uh, failures, a player's failure, or during the uh, creature phase after everyone has moved. So they had no problem sneaking past Grumpy Eel and into the ruins. And there are the treasure markers. So yeah, Julie's already posed for winning. Um, her deep caller failed his activations. And so he just stood right there. Um, and now, uh, creature phase. Now, uh, because of one of Julie's failures, I think it was the deep caller, was it? Um, yes. It was the deep caller's failure right. that then uh, moved the shark. Right. And it was your failure that moved this one. Right. Correct. And one of my failures moved that shark. Mm -hmm. So... Wild creatures move either when you have two failures before your opponent gets to turn or after everyone has moved, then they whoever's left goes. Right. They do not roll for activation, so that's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. So now all we got to do is move the fish, and I'm going to move them here on camera. Okay. I don't have to uh, shut off the camera for that, so... All right, if you could just move them right. Tell me where again and all of that fun stuff. Ah, fish moving my way. Ah, but they're at depth three, so they are higher. And they're not dangerous fish, so I don't need to worry. I no, could. they're fun. I could hide behind them if we were at the same depth. Where's the other fishies? All right, other fishies. Hmm. Hmm. Right in front. Oh. All right, cool. Okay, so there's Fishy. Fish school moves towards Deep Caller. Um, and then uh, away from the shark and other fishies move here. Mm -hmm. Big fish. All right, so turn two. I go since I'm the attacker. And Julie will go after me and we'll see what happens this turn. I yeah. think we'll start filming from turn three. Um, okay, yeah, because I'm like up there. So. Yeah, I know. Yep. All right, so we'll just do one more turn summary. Okay, and this is turn two summary. Well, a lot of things happen. Uh, Julie's mermaids have gone in. Uh, one of them took the primary treasure, which ended yes. up being an elder. There you go. There you go. Elder icon. It. And that benefits uh, spellcasters. So if she gets a mermaid spellcaster, maybe in a future game. So if I can hang on to it. Yeah, if she can hang on to it, she can pass that artifact to Woo! her spellcaster. It gives her a special spell. So mm -hmm. we'll have to look that up. Okay. She is about to grab that treasure. And there's one treasure token in the open. Now, my guys managed to make it through the door, thanks to the successes. Um, however, my scientists... Um, she activated, had two actions, mm -hmm. so she moved, and then she fired at Grumpy Eel. <laughs> uh, Grumpy Eel and ended up recoiling back into his burrow, right. so that's why he's not there. But he's coming back out right now, if I can remember where I placed him. <laughs> um, anyway, he um, here he is, here he Julie is. found Grumpy Yay. Eel. Yay, so Grumpy Eel is going to come back, and then, yeah, that's going to stink. <laughs> anyway, then uh, her deep caller tried to activate. He did not. He had one action. Mm -hmm. So he used that action to command the shark that was here mm -hmm. and made the shark go up one depth level to be close to her. So he is now at the same depth level that she is. So not good. Then in the wild creature phase, this shark activated, saw the action from here and said, ooh, I'm going to. So now we have both sharks near my scientist. And she's like, ah, ah. <laughs> all right. So this turn, mm -hmm. I activate since I am the attacker. Mm -hmm. And I think we're going to start filming live turns because the action is really getting, mm -hmm. getting good. Keep so so uh, remember, we only play till five turns. Mm -hmm. Then we roll the dice and see if it's over. 
my guys only have enough oxygen for the most six turns, mm -hmm. if not less. So yeah, I thought it was five turns it had. Well, we're gonna roll and see if we oh, get an I extra see. turn. I got you. Okay. So they'll Sorry. squeeze out. I had a brain freeze for a second. I they will you. squeeze out whatever they can out of those yes, oxygen like tanks. Too. All right. Turn three. Okay. Okay, turn three. So I'm going to try to activate my divers that are there right underneath Grumpy Eel. Uh, he won't attack me unless I get two failures or during the uh, creature phase at the end of the turn. So uh, let's right. see. So I'm going to use two dice. I'm going to get try to give him, you know what? Did try to give him three yeah. actions. Okay. And he is quality four, so he needs fours. And let's oh, see. Yes. Oh, oh man, one failures. success and two failures. So not only does um, play pass over to Julie, I get attacked. So Julie, you want to roll Grumpy Eel? Okay, so Grumpy Eel rolled a six. <laughs> All right, so I add, I have a combat four. I'm using my combat claw and I rolled a one. Wow. Okay, so uh, I lose. I four. Five, rolling a six, so I am fallen. I fall down, not even recoil, but oh, fall no. down. So I am fallen, and eel grabs me. I'm well. fallen, and I can't get up. <laughs> I'm falling, and I can't get up. Oh man, that stinks for him. All right, so Grumpy Eel has him by the arms. Oh no! And uh, next time, Grumpy Eel is gonna get a bonus to attack. Okay, so next turn or whenever he activates again, uh, he can do a strength check to try and get away from Angry Eel. Uh, but Angry Eel can still pummel me with his biting. All right, so you go, Julie. I lost the turn. Okay, I'm going to activate my my. Um, oh, by the way, um, oh, we already moved a. Uh, a creature we don't have to move another one no because two successes move a creature and i oh but oh, we already failed. did yeah two, but it two did. failed yeah. yeah i gotcha um okay so anyway i'm, I'm gonna be activating one of my mermaids meanwhile my treasure seekers in the safety of the ruins mm -hmm. oh well she'll pick it up she's gonna pick up the treasure token mm -hmm. okay so mermaid has a treasure token with that action and I keep going, right? And okay. you keep going. This time I'm going to do two. Um, uh, just make sure you remember which one has the treasure. Yes, this one. And there's another one with treasure, too. I, I think know. it's this one. Yeah. Yes, it is that one. I have it here. Okay. But she's... No, that's the... Part. No, that is... Yeah, okay. So, yeah, the guardian okay. couldn't get treasure yet. All right, so I am going to activate um, the guardian. Uh-huh. Two successes. So, yeah. Um, so she's going to go this way, and then she's going to use an action to pick it to up. To pick it up. And those are her two actions. And, yes, well, those are her two actions. And she's done. Okay, so the mermaids have the treasure in turn three. Okay. Um, all right, so I guess. Your deep caller? Mm-hmm. Okay, so Deep Caller is going to activate. He looks comfortable there. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Let's see, please. Ooh, one success, one failure. Okay. So he did activate. Mm -hmm. um, he, he moves a medium, right? Yes. yes. So you're going to transfer an attack, transfer one of your actions from the Deep Caller so that the shark can attack. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, here we go. Five. And I got a six. So six plus three is nine. Five plus three is eight. So I beat you by one, yeah. and I beat you by a six with a six. Uh -huh. So he is fallen. Oh. So he's right. going to go down with one depth level. Okay. There he goes. And he is fallen, just represent. Poor sharky shark. No, not poor sharky yes, shark. Yes, poor sharky shark. <laughs> <laughs> bubbles, bubbles, bubbles. <laughs> bubbles, bubbles. <laughs> Now, um, let me activate these guys so I remember because I have terrible memory. All right, I'm going to try to activate that diver while Angry Eel is grabbing that diver. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to give him two dice. Okay. And See. he activates on four, quality four. A five and a one, one success, one mm -hmm. failure. 
that just moves them into the okay and then he sees a bunch of <laughs> fish like females <laughs> and the treasure's gone where's the treasure hey <laughs> All right, that's all he can do because unfortunately that's all the actions I gave him. So he's marked. Okay. And then uh, one more is her. She gets to react. So I think she's going to go down with depth level, okay. get away from sharky sharks. <laughs> all right. <sighs> Maybe she'll go help helpless over there. Get angry eel off of him. All mm. right, I'm going to do... Because we said, like, we could go across here. She's she's yeah. at that level one, and yeah. she'll be there. So that's one action. Okay. And then if I get the two actions, she can shoot Angry Eel. All right. She is quality three. So activates on threes. Oh, nice. Six. You got two. Yay. 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 <laughs> so, Madame Ma oh. Marie Châtelet, Marie Châtelet, that's her name, oh, okay. she's going to now use her other action and shoot Angry Eel. Yeah, you got it. Yeah, I do. I, ha I have yeah. more than enough by range. An, yeah, by a lot. Yeah, so I have more than <clears throat> enough range. Okay, she's going to shoot it. Dun, dun. All right, so do, get your, do. could you roll for Angry Eel? Oh, of course. She has plus one for a projectile. She's going to shoot a projectile. Oh, oh. He, well, what am I trying Six. to roll? Six. Um, plus I... one is seven. I'm adding my combat roll, right? Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. So it's three. Looks like angry eel. Three, six. All right, and I beat you by one. Yeah. But I beat you with a six. So anyway, either way, he recoils. So okay. he releases, that's all, hey, that's releases awesome. the diver. And he's out of the picture for now. For now, he will return. Don't let me forget Angry Eel. And then he's going to need a, 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 a an action to stand. All right. And I totally forgot that I had a third guy here. Duh. I have Soldier 4. Six and a one. One success, one failure. Okay. So he is then going to move. Dun, 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 right to the door. Dun, 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 dun. Thank you. You're welcome. Opponent for moving my figure. <laughs> He's at the door. Now Sharky can move. There you go. And now we there can There we go. Now we're all good. All right. We're all good now. <laughs> forgot forgot one guy. He was hidden. He was hidden. I didn't see him. He either. was camouflaged. I, did, I was trying to find him the entire time that you were moving. <laughs> I was like, where is the other guy? <laughs> Six plus two is eight. Six plus two is eight. And I rolled a four. <sighs> okay. You should have got so, um, you all right, so he, I was fallen. He does uh, damage and to the shark, kills my model, because if a model has fallen, and even if it loses by one point, doesn't matter how much armor, uh, well, he's gone. All right. Sorry, diver. He was killed by a shark. Bye-bye. All right. Turn four. Mm-hmm. Oh no! Are there more creatures? There's more. Oh, creatures. that's right. Let's let's move the fishies because they have to move. Yeah, I like the fishies. You want to move? Sure. Tell me how far. Tell me where to go. Um, where he's gonna go going? right to the a edge of the table, and then turn him around. Okay. Ah! Okay. Okay, and then this is here. Ooh. Yeah, they're not quite there. Yeah. They're going to move towards the edge, and then they turn around. Yep, yep. So, fishies are at depth three. Take this depth dice out. All right, so I lost one guy already to a shark. Um, <laughs> 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 All right, uh, Marie tried to save the diver. Oh, no, no well. All right, so I go. This is turn four. We're still the attackers. Uh, turn four. All right, well, this guy needs activations. He's a little bit stunned. Because he like sees all these ladies with fishtails, and they have right. all the treasure. Be afraid. Be very afraid. All right. So I need activation or three. Are you doing three? Two dice. Two. Oh, okay. One. Two at six. One success. One failure. So okay. he is going to shoot. Let's see. What does? 
um, if he if he shoots me, like if he damage hits me, gets a a you know one damage or two damage or whatever. When when it comes to the point where I I lose the treasure, the when you die, when I die, so yeah. I'll the have it drops. unless I die. Yeah, exactly. Okay. All right. All right. Now he's gonna declare a headshot. Uh oh. On her. Oh, you suck. <laughs> I hope you don't win that. Oh okay, and God. he has armor break, so he gets to ignore one uh, armor point from her head. She has head armor one. That's what it was. Anyway. So, so I basically just have to beat her roll. Yes, you suck. One. Um, oh, so sorry. I have combat three, so I add three to my dice. Three is shot. Three plus one is four. Uh-oh. One. <laughs> what? That's a one. Oh dear! How many head arm uh, wounds only you one. got? Only one head wound. Yeah. Well, that's what it says. One on the head. Is that All right, we got to check this. You took my guardian. Yeah. She got so shot dead. in the head by a projectile, <gasps> and you can put her treasure down. Oh, she didn't have treasure, did she? Yeah, she, she did. So her treasure falls. Sucks, man. Dun, 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 dun. At least I got to do. I mean, come on, I'm losing. <laughs> All right, so the treasure falls, and the other mermaids are like, huh? Oh, yes, he does have to reload, so he's going to have to take one action to reload next okay. time. So okay. So he just fired his weapon. Okay. So he will be defenseless so for you're a you're on to your next one, then. All right, so this diver, I'm going to give him two actions. Come on, come on, divers. So in order for me to recover that treasure, I have to get him in there, right? Because they yep. can't take more than one. Right. A six and a three. And he needs four, so he, he goes in. Dun, 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 one action. Ah! And that's all I can do. Okay. All right, so he comes in, and he's like, oh, cool. A party. <laughs> All right, so both of those are activated, and I keep rolling. Where's your next one? I can't see him again. Oh, there he is. Marie Chatelet. The scientist. Chatelou. Chatelou. Chatelet. Which one? It's one of those. Chatelou sounds better. I'm going to give her two actions. <gasps> a six and a two, a success and a failure. Hmm. Is she going to sneak by Sharky? Yep, she can. She can go whoop, and we're all going into the ruins. But you know what? The sharks will enter the ruins, uh -oh. too. They will? Yeah, they can, oh. if the deep caller commands them to. Oh. So there she is, and she's in the ruins, and all my guys are activated, so now you go. I have to decide what I need to do. I'm, I'm... You lost one girl. Oh, I'm so upset about losing the treasure. And he's going to get up next turn. Because he was falling. He All fell right. to the bottom. Okay, looking okay. for threes. Oh, one. Only one. One action. All right, so deep caller moves. So I'm going to move him. He moves medium. Medium. Uh, okay, so we'll put him right there. So that means that all uh, the sharks are going to have uh, a bonus to activate next turn mm -hmm. because of his aura. <laughs> All right, so he activated. Right. Everybody's act. No, no, your mermaids. These, oh. these girls in here. Uh. Uh, all right, now to fight, do they have to be base to base? Yes. Okay. Unless they have a ranged weapon, in which and case it would tell right. you. I don't have one, correct? Okay, so Julie rolled two fours, mm -hmm. so you can activate your she's mermaid. She's attack. quality three, so she's going to attack him. She has two actions, one action left. All right, she's attacking me with a trident. Now, the trident has shock and transfixing. So, let's check okay, that So, out. this weapon shocks the defender with ether energy if it loses in combat, transfixing the victim. Mm -hmm. Unless it rolls a resistant check with two successes. Julie has called a headshot. Now, I have armor three on that helmet. I've combat two. So, she has to beat my roll by three at least. Okay. To kill me she, to do one wound and uh, actually destroy me because my head has only one wound all right okay here we go i've got um one die only one i thought you could choose no okay no, no. you're right oh, it's always one always one guys i don't know what's wrong with me and but not right. that's not getting through my head okay sorry yes here we go and it's plus two combat a four plus two is six 
A one! I rolled a one! No way! No way! So she beats me by three for sure and gives me a headshot, stabs that trident right through my helmet, Woo. and he is out. Oh, man. Ruthless, ruthless. Mm -hmm. Whoa! Don't you, don't you mess with those mermaids, man? Yeah, she, those mermaids are freaking ruthless. She's pissed off. You so her, yeah, her guardian. <laughs> that's it. I mean, that armor didn't. That's the thing about cold shots. Mm -hmm. Okay, so mermaid does not move. Uh, she activate her. You can activate her. You can put a token. To oh, her. oh yeah, yeah. I didn't. I knew what I was And but deep it, caller think. already activated, right? Yeah. So that's why. I'm All right. So doing creature that. phase. The sharks. The shark. Uh, can get off the sand there. Okay. And now the sharks move. Um, wait. So he's gonna move. Oh, I I hate you, shark. <laughs> <laughs> and he's gonna attack the closest person. Yeah. By the doorway. There he is. Shark goes in. Okay. Attacks the closest diver, which is me. No. No. Because to be me. All right, and his thing. Which means that he only has body armor one. Mm -hmm. Oh, and he has two wounds for the body. Mm -hmm. uh, body armor one, so that stinks. All right. All right, all right. Let's see. Let's, let's do this. I add three to my roll, I so I one. rolled a one again. Go. I rolled a three, so it's a six. Oh. So that's a four and a six. You beat me by how many? By two? The shark. So you beat me by two, meaning you penetrate my body armor and do one wound. He still has one wound okay. left. Okay. All right. On the body. And all uh, uncalled shots are default to the body. Right. And so the, the he has one wound left. Call it anyway. Right? right. Creatures will not call shots. Yeah. No. Only, only your characters yeah. can yeah. do that. All right, so next shark moves, and he doesn't attack your deep caller because your deep caller is all so cool. He thinks he's so cool. <laughs> he is cool. He knows he's he, cool. He's all like arrogant and like that. Look at me, all I... that and a bag of chips. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I always hate that thing. Oh man, we're gonna lose subscribers now. <laughs> I know. I'm sorry, please forgive me. All right, so he's he's going through that opening, and uh, deep caller's just like uh huh. <laughs> okay, and then now we move schools of fish. Right. Fishies are going to go right to the edge, turn around, and go right back because that's all they do unless they are controlled in some way. They're going to go um, and get them off the board. That's him, so he's just going to turn around. No, he already did, so he's going this way. Oh, yeah, that's right. We have another school of fish. And these guys do not move. They're sedentary. They're just right. guarding their territory unless somebody comes near them mm -hmm. you know these guys then they they uh, attack but all right so last turn last turn last turn, turn five all right now looking good in the ruins we are like ugh. we're battling that out um could you check the shark and make sure he doesn't have grab uh -huh. hang on okay that's good that's good all right all right my turn this is the last turn i think last turn yeah turn five um, we'll roll it, but it ends at turn six anyway. But, right. Yeah. But we'll see if this is the last turn. Um, it probably, watch, my luck, it's going to be. Uh, Chatelet, Marie, Marie <laughs> Chatelet, Marie Chatelet. Chatelet. And she's going to have two dice. I'm going to give her two dice. Come on, Marie. She has activation three. She's quality three. <laughs> Five and a three. Oh, Woo! Oh, right, Marie <laughs> is gonna go. Well, no, she's not gonna go like that. And then she's gonna her. pick up with the other action. There you go. And we now have a treasure. Okay. All right, fucking all right, Marie. Watch her get eaten by a shark. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so she is now activated. You go ahead, Missy. Oh wait, no, I keep going. I'm so uh -huh. sorry. I'm so sorry, I'm Missy. Not the only one forgetting. Something. All right. Well, my diver is gonna counter attack him. Oh, I forgot. I could have counter counter attacked last turn. Oh, you can. You can counter attack. Yeah, you can. If certain abilities don't allow you, like certain creatures, don't allow you to counter attack. Right. 
but the sharks I could have countered. Well, that. that's okay. All right, I, I missed it. I forgot. It's my fault. So now the shark can counterattack. So shark can counterattack. Mm. So you can roll for him. Let me first see if I can activate this dude. Yes, a six and a five. All mm. right. Okay. Two actions. So I'm gonna give him an attack action, and I'm gonna attack the gray shark. He has a diving knife. That's all he has. No bonuses. I just roll straight dice. Uh, that sucks. Ooh, okay. I have plus three still. Or the shark does. Oh, oh no! All right, hold on, hold Sharky on, hold on. Failed miserably. Okay, well we had to uh, check rules and stuff. Okay, so he does have a plus one. Yeah. To his bite, uh, but let me do my attack. I got a five. Okay. Plus three. Well, I have a one plus four. It's five. All right, yeah. So you and all the bonuses is five. Me, five plus three. Eight. Eight. So I beat you. Mm -hmm. And you're, you have armor Shark, one armor for one. the body. Yes. But I beat you by three. So that's okay. enough to do yes. a, a wound. One wound? Yeah, one wound to his oh, body. Oh, he's got two. So he's Whoa. got two wounds in the body. Okay, so Shark has one wound. He has one more left in the body, and then he's done. So that's good. Maybe I can kill him by the next counterattack, <laughs> or maybe he'll just kill me, because I only have one wound as well. All right, all right. So that, that got worked out. Um, that's it, right? That's all I got. I only have two guys. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. All right, go ahead. I am going to... So I'm going to... Um... And there's a shark right at the doorway, too. <laughs> I'm going to activate her. Uh-huh. I'm going to use two. Looking for threes. Oh, only one. Um. You could attack him. How? Oh, well, you only got one action. Exactly. <laughs> I see, I see. Okay. Um, I think I'm just going to move her, like, over here. Right. Basically, kill time, basically. Yeah. That's, that's what I'm That's do. what you could do. And then this... Run then the her, clock. Okay. Um, no, I'm running the clock out because I don't want to lose my, my All treasure. right. So you have a treasure uh -huh. and she's activated. All right. And what about your deep caller? Uh, now he's a problem because he can give him orders. Right. Um, let me see. Yep. Total range. Let's activate him. I'm using three. Or two, I mean. Two. Oh, Ooh, I only got one. Well, only one action. That sucks. All right, well, that does mean he can control him, though, right? He can give his action to him, yeah, like a leader, yeah. Um, now, he can. He doesn't have to activate, yeah, but he can activate him. So I can move him in here? Yep, but he'll just have one action. Right. Oh, okay, so he moves right into the thing, and that yep. was... And now right. he's out of his control aura. Right. Okay, so... Um, Sharky, however, will not activate because he already activated this turn. He won't activate. Um, he activated, didn't yes, he? Yeah, he did. so he can't yeah. activate this turn. Um, now it's just fishies. And we're going to roll to see nice. if the turn ends and then see what happens. What kind of... That's how we do it. Do this. Do, 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 do. Fishies move at depth three. And all right, schools of fish have moved. Oopsie, oopsie. And okay. that's the situation. All right, yeah. Julie. Let's roll, Let's roll to see if the game goes on one more turn. Ah! Game, game over. over. All right. So turn uh, again. I have little oxygen. Uh, it er, um, ended at turn five. And there you go. Okay, so let's see. Victory! All right, well, I came really, really so close. close. We did the calculations. I had four victory points. That's because I killed one of our important mermaids, five. which was... Five victory which, points. I'm, I'm sorry, five victory points. Julie has six. I have five. Which? I lost by one, one victory, victory point. One victory point. Because her mermaid, mermaid was worth 94 points. Yeah, and you got three victory points. And you get, for every 25 points mm -hmm. of model, you get one victory point. So... Yep. Uh, and then plus the treasure token that's worth two points. Mm -hmm. And Julie had the same. So six to five is the 
total, yes. and I lose by one point. I was so close. Uh, the diver that was killed by the shark obviously does not count towards right. Julie. No. Um, no, it does not count. Yeah, I just made a fat shark. <laughs> All right, that is the game, folks. Thank you so I much. I hope you enjoyed it as much as we did because yep. we had a lot of fun playing it. Deep Wars is an awesome, awesome, awesome game. Awesome, awesome, awesome uh, game. Really. And I have a great idea for our next Deep Wars game. So stay tuned. It's going to be a little funny kind of surprise for the next one. All right. <laughs> Thank you, guys, and we'll talk very soon.